Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Navin from UI Brains. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, a very important concept of uh, JavaScript programming is for loop. So what is for loop is uh, in JavaScript programming, the, the way of writing a processing logic, sometimes we have to loop uh, certain statements. It means we have to execute uh, a set of statements based on a certain condition. Okay, so until unless condition is satisfied, so we are going to repeatedly uh, we are executing a set of statements. So for these repeated tasks, we are going to use a for loop. So let's understand the syntax about a for loop. So for loop syntax is going to be let me change this language to JavaScript here for open close. And uh, each for will have a uh, three statements, uh, three parts. One is uh, initialization, initialization, and then the condition, and then increment or decrement. So first of all, why we have to use this is I tell you the scenario. Uh, suppose you want to print the value from one to ten. What do you do? Suppose you ask a person right uh, could you please tell me 1 to 10 so what the person will do is uh, he'll say 1 to 3 4 up to 10 but strictly speaking am i ask him 1 to 10 increment by 1 no you may increment by 2 you may increment by 3 right so it means if you are giving any instruction to the system you have to give each and every instruction perfectly it means we have to tell the system you have to start from number 1 up to the number 10 and also increment each and every value by 1 so like this complete this type of instructions we can give using a for loop so for loop suppose uh, let's make it 0 okay so I want to print from 0 to 10 and with the differences 1 with the differences 1 so how you write a for loop is this is the this is for loop syntax so first you have to initialize and then the condition increment or decrement suppose you want to print 1 to uh, 0 to 10 with the differences 1 the program is going to be so for you have to initialize first initialize means just say let i equal to 0 some some variable okay and then i up to watch i less than or equal to 10 up to 10 i want to print increment i just say i plus plus because uh, it increments by one right inside i say console dot log of i that's it so it starts from zero so i tell you the control flow now it's initialize zero after that it immediately checks the condition so if the condition is satisfied it go and executes the statements after executing a statement it check the uh, it just increments after increments check the condition and print it again increment check the condition and print it so initialization works only once and the condition checking increment is gonna happen repeatedly until unless the condition fails uh, for that matter let's see here i equal to zero so zero less than or equal to 10 condition success if the condition success is goes inside of a for loop uh, as of now we write only one statement you may write 100 statement 1000 statements also you may write inside one more for loop also so uh, as soon as the condition is that is why is go and execute a statement after you finish executing of all the statements then it come back to the i mean it comes to the i plus plus now i value will be one again it checks the condition so i less than or equal to 10 so i value now i plus plus means 1 so 1 less than or equal to 10 condition success again printed so 1 printed next i plus plus i value 2 2 less than or equal to 10 yes printed again i plus plus it's 3 3 less than or equal to 10 yes it's printed so up to 9 assume it's printed 9 so 9 plus plus 10 so 10 less than or equal to 10 yes 10 less than or equal to 10 and then it prints 10 after that i plus plus now i value will be 11 so 11 less than or equal to 10 condition fails if the condition fails the control come out from the for loop it comes out of your for loop 
okay so this is the flow of execution of for loop so let's understand the in detail and we also discuss some examples of for loop uh, before i do the for loop i will do one thing i'll just copy the the first folder i'll replace i mean i just paste it i change to js underscore so looping statements looping statements i don't need this and uh, in html i'll modify this as looping statements and this is also looping statements okay fine uh, now refresh open the looping statements and inspect and console window okay um, so here let's start with a for loop so I want to print I write a comment so print the values from 0 to 10 so how to print the values 0 to 10 is you will write a for loop let i equal to 0 starts from 0 and the end value is 10 so i will be less than or equal to 10 so starts from 0 up to 10 increment by 1 okay so let's make a also difference by 1 okay i plus plus and then what i do is i simply write a console.log of i now save it so go check the output you will get c 0 to 10 okay so this is how you write a, a normal for loop, very basic for loop now i don't want to print the values one after the other i want to print all the values side by side so generally the console.log function it prints all the values line by line but i want to print them in a same line if you want to print the same line so console.log is not going to work because every time console.log means it prints in a next line uh, for that you can do is you can take a string and you can keep on appending uh, we know string and catenation operator right so the plus operator so using that you can just keep on appending some values to it and then print it so what i do is i say let result is equal to empty string i have taken okay now what i do is result is equal to the existing results plus i and then console dot log of results so what i am doing here is see result is empty string now result is equal to result means this empty string plus i i value what zero so zero up i mean empty string append with a zero next iteration one next iteration two like that one two three four just appended all together and the complete string is written to the results if i say console log of results you get the answer 0 1 2 3 4 up to the 10 but i don't want to be uh, like this i have to give a space uh, before space you can do one thing see result you can make a shortcut of this line what is that result is equal to result plus i it means you can make this as a shortcut result plus equal to i so same answer so shorthand math i don't want this i want to give a space also so let's make a backtick dollar of i and space so what happens you get 0 1 2 3 4 and 10 okay looks good and let's add a comma okay so see i got 0 1 2 3 4 up to 10 and comma um if you don't want this comma after 10 you can get rid of this so how to remove comma after 10 is c i don't want to display comma after 10 so how to remove comma after 10 is just think differently i need comma up to 9 but not 10 you can make a if condition so we already learned the if condition so what i do is if the i value is less than or equal to 9 then add with the comma else don't add with the comma now save and check see there is no comma after 10 so what i'm doing is uh, again same repetition will happen but if the value is until unless 9 okay i mean up to the 9 keep on adding a comma if it is more than 9 so when more than 9 for 10 only so 10 
don't add comma and for 11 it's come out from the loop so that's how it is printed 0 to 10 with the increment of 1 now i want to print the values from 20 to 20 to 0 with the difference is 2 so let's see that example so uh, print the values from 20 to 0 and uh, with the difference is 2 okay it means i want to print 20 18 uh, 16 14 like that so tell me now i just make a result as empty okay now you have to write a for loop right so starts with what 20 so let i is equal to 20 and i must be greater than or equal to 0 right so 0 20 to 0 so reducing so greater than or equal to and i minus minus if i say i minus minus what happened it reduces by 1 but i want to reduce by 2 what you do is uh, i minus is equal to 2 so it is nothing but i is equal to i minus 2 then let's make a console dot log of i if i say console dot log of i can you check the output see 20 18 16 14 up to 20 fine uh, but i don't want to print again uh, like this i want to print them all side by side so what you do is um, you can make a condition here again you can make a condition same like previous if the i value up to 0 right if it is greater than 0 then results plus equal to um, you can write a backtick dollar i comma okay else let's add a result without comma so if it is more than zero add with the comma otherwise for zero don't add comma so i'm just writing together consult log of result now check you get the answer 20 18 16 and on and so on up to zero so this is how you're gonna print it uh fine so this is an example of for loop uh, mixed with if else condition you can mix for loop with if else if else with for anything and for loop inside for also so let's take a nested for loop what is nested for loop is i want to write a for loop inside a for loop that's a nested for loop so you come across uh, regularly this type of for loop inside for loop so let's understand what is for loop inside for loop it's called nested for loop um, for example um, you can print like this uh, you can i want to print like this uh, star two stars three stars and uh, four stars and then five stars okay so i want to print the data in such a way that like these type of stars it means i say let number is equal to five if i say the number five i want to print the stars like this one after the other five stars starts from one to the five stars um, if i say 10 so 10 starts you have to print from the one okay so let's uh, make a for loop for this so how exactly you will print this statement let me delete all paste it okay so to print one star normally console log of star you can print it right now then tell me how to print two stars how to print two stars you have to print this using a for loop starts from one to two print it this is a for loop this is a for loop this is for loop so for each line you need a for loop and what is a for loop here starts from one it is up to two up to three up to four up to five so you have to write a first for loop from one to five and inside next to for loop depend on the i value so i just write a statement here um i write a for let i equal to zero i less than or equal to number and i plus plus okay so now tell me if a console dot log of star what happens if i write console dot log of star 
you will get six stars oh uh, i mistake i starts from one i starts from one right so one star not zero star right so five stars has come but i don't want to do it i want to make it like this if you want to make like this you must have to make another for loop so what you do is i take another for loop inside let something j is equal to one and the j value always depends on i value so j less than or equal to i and then j plus plus okay so inside uh, but i want to print it like this if you want to print side by side you have to take it as a string um what i do is let's take a result is empty now i want to attach it so result plus is equal to i use a back tick star the star right so i just make a star fine next uh, after you finish off one loop i write uh, result plus is equal to i'm using a back tick slash n what is this slash n is is for the next line same like the html br tag next line because once it is printed one star next line two star next line three star so printing the stars is this one and the next line for each repetition of i value is this one okay and then console dot logo research now save it go check yes i got it stars you want to give a space you can mention a space okay so one two three four and five so how the flow of execution works is quite simple see here i value one and i less than or equal to condition success come inside so here what is there one more for loop is there so for this condition success execute this loop if the condition success execute this loop so how many number of time this condition success execute this loop and again if this condition success if this condition success print it again print it in that way so i value one j value one condition success it prints one star and then j plus plus now j value two so two less than or equal to i no so it comes out make a slash n it means let's go for the next line and then here uh, after you finish off this because this this for loop is over right it comes out but the parent for loop is not over so then after this line go and execute i plus plus it increments the i value and checks the condition so i value now 2 2 less than or equal to 5 yes again comes inside keep executing these statements so keep on printing two stars for i value two right so two stars so the next i value three three stars based on this condition right so you get the output as the stars okay fine uh, now i'll give you some examples you can try those examples okay the very first example uh, what you can try is i want to print not just stars I want to print like this. I want to print 1, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 5. So I want to print in this way. Okay, so you can try it. Then I'll explain later. Uh, I want to print RS like this 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, next 4, 4, 4, next 5, 5, 5, 5. It's 4 extra. You can print this one or else uh, one more you may take uh, reverse of it reverse means this one two three four reverse so how to write uh, one two three four five next uh, i want one two three four one two three one two one next so fourth one uh, i want five 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 next four 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 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, and 1. Okay, so you can try printing off these statements. Okay, uh, I, you can just pause the video and try. If not, uh, I'll tell you now. So, first one, I want to print in this order. So, let's see how to print it. Here, let's make example 1. Okay, I want this one. Oh, 
how to print is let's take the result is empty array of 4 let i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 and then i plus plus here i write another for loop <coughs> next for loop also starts from 1 j is equal to 1 just understand uh, just try to understand the program uh, j less than or equal to based on the i value and the j plus plus inside i will attach result plus is equal to backtick the dollar i want to print what 1 to 3 4 so 1 to 3 4 is actually the um, i value i think it is i okay and then result plus equal to um, backtick slash end for the next line and then console dot log of uh, results okay so i'm just printing the i value inside the nested for loop okay so depend on i value only is it is updating so let's check oh i made a mistake it is it's j actually uh, so j1 j less than or equal to i yes it's a j value it is actually j value correct so j1 j next 1 2 next iteration 1 2 3 next iteration 1 2 3 4 next iteration 1 2 3 4 5 so like this okay now you got an idea how to make um, this thing right this is just replaced with the i value so let me do that quickly um, let me um, copy this here I say slash star stitch so how to print this value is same thing what you do is just replace the j with i value so i value based on i value how it is incrementing is in this way so one next iteration it's two only i value two only next three next four next five like that you got it let's make a reverse uh, how to make a reverse is i want to print this one copy back to here paste it oh okay so let's start this one i write results is empty next to i write a four let i value starts from one always so one i less than or equal to five and i plus plus so inside for let j is equal to one j um, j greater than or equal to no actually i have to reverse correct so i value is do one thing do one thing let's make it let i is equal to phi you take and i greater than or equal to i greater than or equal to one and then uh, i minus minus reverse okay then uh, yeah and j you can increment so j less than less than or equal to i and then j um, plus plus okay here you have to print the value of the first five so one next iteration two next iteration three up to five and then i value reduce it up to four only you will repeat and then next three okay got it so result plus equal to back take i write um, dollar i value sorry it's, it's j value j value then uh, results plus equal to i want to make a slash n for the next line and finally console dot logo result now check you get the answer is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 1 2 and 1 so because why 1 2 3 4 5 i value 5 so it prints 1 2 5 next iteration i value reduced so i value 4 so it repeats up to 4 and then next iteration i value 3 it repeats up to 3 
like that then uh, one last uh, statement let me um, copy this one fourth one copy here I make this one so I think um, you can print the high value itself okay got it same story copy this I will paste it I simply replace this with I value because uh, I value 5 right so every iteration only I value I value always 5 5 times next I value 4 4 times I value 3 3 times so now check yes I got it so 5 4 4 3 3 2 2 1 okay so yeah fine that's it so this is an example of a for loop uh, same like this you may use either for loop or while loop or do while okay so try to practice on this type of uh, examples and in the next video we'll see what is while loop and we'll see the same while loop how to print the same statement okay using while loop how to print the same examples and also we'll see a do while thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you